Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banning of Isaac Repentance. We are here once again and the game has been patched as of the third, the third of this month. Um, so yeah, the, the, the backlog recordings have, uh, have come quite far, <laughs> just a bit. So you may have heard me in the previous few episodes, maybe any of the past however many, talking about Tinted Rocks or shops and their balance and both of those have been changed as of the patch of course many of you that play this game will already know this weeks in advance of me saying this but either way tinted rocks have been made slightly more common on hard mode and reverted back to normal in normal mode um fully upgraded shops have been made uh slightly actually um have been given a 50 percent chance of showing up instead of like a 25 percent chance on hard mode and reverted back to normal in normal mode and restock machines now have a 25% chance to replace the donation machine in shops. So interesting, but we're going to jump in this time and I think we're just going to do a challenge because I want to unlock some items and this seems like a really good way that apparently these challenges are really fun. So we're going to jump in with Scatman. And Scatman is exactly what I think it is. Yes, it is. We start off with Dirty Mind and essentially we have our poops that, that chase around and hurt things for us. It's very cool. Uh, Dirty Mind is probably one of the coolest items. All the different types of poops do different things. Um, they all have different effects. And yeah, basically we build up this little army of poops that just follow by our side and destroy everything in their wake. And we can't shoot as well. Um, but our poop recharges over time. And yeah, we've got, we've got quite a lot of stuff going on, honestly. Quite a lot of stuff. But as you can see, we basically have just created this absolute army of, uh, of poops following us and we're going to be continuing to do so i doubt there's item rooms no there isn't uh we of course want to keep the poop Ooh, nice and of course we can walk over things this is an interesting development we have ourselves. also why do we have three of the um three of the poop bomb items is that just to give us more bombs off the bat honestly i'm gonna take this i think that could be really really good on this challenge being able to plant two poops every time we use a space bar, uh, as long as that works the way I think it does, seems like it could be very beneficial. So let's uh, let's jump in on our boss. Pin is actually going to be pretty easy because he's going to jump into all of these poops. And oh, uh, okay, maybe maybe not as easy as I thought. I thought he was going to end up getting like into the cluster, but it seems like he just rebounds off them. Still very good. I don't know how they take damage. I don't know if they take damage the same way. Uh, I really need to test with um. With my double active, if I'm actually getting double the amount of poops off of that or not. I'll need to be in a room where I can actually move around, move around a little bit. Maybe I'll wait until after this boss fight and then do it. There you go. So like, let's go over here. Maybe it's not working. Either way, I'm glad I took it. It was, it was worth a shot. Let's jump on down. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. One moment. Okay, I'm back. Let's carry on with this challenge and just see what we can get done. But these early floors, while there's actually poops on the floor, are going to be a little easier for us, definitely. Um, so we can just create this mad army. If we can get a, a charge boy in here. Dude, spider. Just just, just walk into my army, please. Thank you. No. No charge boy. Boom. Damn, I was really hoping it it double place the poops. Like it placed two next to each other or something. But it doesn't quite seem to be working that way for us. But still, we have created a pretty mega army here. And we're doing we're, we're doing just fine. Even with our slightly lowered HP. But yeah, not going to destroy any of the pots just yet. I'm going to wait until combat's over. But yeah, not being able to shoot on some rooms. I can definitely see that being a problem. I'm wondering how exactly it's going to deal with some of them. Because, like, the poops can't fly. There's going to be a few rooms that, that it becomes very hard to... Um, very hard to get certain enemies, I think. Money there. Shops are still valuable, so destroying these is great. Good, good. Come on, my poop army. <laughs> the way they just insta-kill those spiders is hilarious. Ah, that, that one did actually hit me. But we turned him into a poop, so it doesn't matter. Baby Plum. Here we go. Nice. Just get in there, Baby Plum. <laughs> so the poops do... They, they do seem to die pretty rapidly. But, like... Honestly, they are surviving through quite a lot, to be honest. I think enemies that, um, that fire bullets are definitely going to be more of a pain than enemies that do contact damage, by the looks of things. Baby Plum should be a relatively easy one, though, but she is she is eating our army, I will say that. Like, our army of poops has, like, halved, pretty much. But there you go. 
Baby Plum is gone. We did get some HP, which is fantastic. Deal with the Devil as well, which I wasn't really expecting. I don't really think we care for Deal with the Devils. We're only going to Mum's Foot, so we don't need any crazy power. The only thing I would have taken there is maybe Flight, just to stay over gaps while, um, while my poops do everything. But other than that, I don't think we need much. Um, but yeah, this is where the challenge definitely gets a lot harder because now we can't rely on finding poops on the floor as much. Oh god, this is this is really tough. These guys are not attacking these dudes at all. Like th these guys are not worrying about this dude in in any regard. And also, he's very healthy. And also, they can't seem to kill the guy over the gap as well. Like I said. Luckily, we're getting some more poops about, but yeah, like, they're not attacking this dude at all. Like, there's one diff that's like, cool, I'll go for him. But every other one is like, no. But yeah, how do we, how do we get this guy? Oh my god, we made a lot of poops then. We made a lot of poops. Okay, that worked out. Oh my god. Oh my god, we made so many. And an eternal heart. Shouldn't have taken that yet. Uh, I will do this. Okay, that was just worthless, sadly. Just worthless. But yeah, I don't know what really what happened there. Towards the end of the room, we just got a ton of poops. Oh, it's because we were walking into black flies. Okay, so these guys spawning black flies is actually amazing for us. Just keep doing that. Because we just... Okay, we do have a limit to how many poops we can get. We're at our limit right now, so there's not much point going over that. Know your limits, stay within it. Come on, kill him. Kill him. There you go, we got him. <laughs> These guys are probably going to get kind of wrecked here. Okay, just dip, dove, dodge, and weave between them all. There we go. Come on, my army. My brethren. <gasps> petrified poop. Is petrified poop better than chocolate? Chocolate does make it so that we randomly poop. I'll, I'll, tr I'll try out petrified poop for a little bit and see how that goes. Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> Opened a chest and it gave me another locked chest. Not really what I was looking for, I have to admit. But yeah, getting getting something like Unicorn Stump in this challenge would be like top, top tier. But we lost our Eternal Heart, that's okay. Honestly, stationary enemies are a massive problem for us. Because the poops, they just don't care. They just do not want to attack. I mean, champions are actually maybe the biggest problem. Thank God I can't stompy those bombs. They, them guys have changed a little bit, the way they fire. They just kind of poo out a random shot. Oh, another crawl space. Great. Very happy about that. And a soul heart there as well. Good stuff. Uh, mystery item. We'll, of course, take it. I, I, I farted out a poop and nothing happened, so... Boiled baby. Okay, shooting does actually do something with this guy, so that's good to know. Let's grab our soul heart here. And go, 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 go. We're quite slow, so that was, a bit, that was a bit of a risk there, but I took it. Yeah, we should be finding crawl spaces quite often. Okay, slink on past these guys. Yeah, boiled baby here, especially considering we have to get so close to enemies. Should reveal itself to be pretty darn useful. Yep, there you go. We're able to actually attack things with it. Definitely still want Petrified Poop here. Petrified Poop, I think, is going to be good just because we can get health back for the poops we place down. Um, which seems a little better than just getting random poop every now and again. Also, I never even mentioned how just absolutely gorgeous our character looks right now. <laughs> he looks amazing. But I'm pretty sure um, Dirty Mind here is the item we unlock after we uh, complete this challenge. Awesome. Yeah, also, we can get drops by running into enemies. I didn't even think about that. Oh, no key to get into the shop, sadly. If we've got enough health about, we can just run into enemies to get all of our damage. Come on, try and try and walk into the uh, barrage. Honestly, Boiled Baby is kind of our main damage source right now because the poop just do not care. Come on, get him. Get him! <laughs> Attack, my brethren! Attack! Right. Oh, it's Bumbino as well. There's a few poops in here. Oh, he's gonna have a hard, hard time against these little dudes. 
I did get hit there. It's okay. Again, like I said, we're not really worrying about deal with the devil. I don't really think it matters to us that much. Oh, butt bomb. No. That's no. That's everything we stand against. <laughs> Using our own kind against us. No. What the hell? He is like absolute. This is absurd. He just never stops. I'd never realized how like uh, that move is uh, P. Okay, he's hit me every time with that so far. That move is uh, is a lot stronger than I knew about. Also, we are going to die. Do not fire on me again. Okay, we got him. Okay, that was that was very tricky. <laughs> we cut that one pretty damn close. I'll say that for sure. We cut that one pretty damn close. I kind of went into that thinking, I can't use bombs. And I was like, wait a minute, I have 21 bombs. Just start throwing bombs at him. But yeah, that butt bomb attack is strong. He has very good aim with that at of his. Very good aim indeed. Okay, nice. Don't want to step on the mushrooms. That's a bad idea. Okay, how will how will we go with these guys? I'm really hoping we get a few more babies that we can uh, that we can abuse to uh, to get this challenge done a little easier. Because boiled baby so far, like I said, is just killing it. Room. So all fly enemies have turned into black flies. I'm guessing that's to make the challenge easier. Um, but also, yeah, it's because we have um. I, I, what's it called again? Uh, Skatul, I believe it's called. The amount of health we get from doing that is so nice. So any any rooms with flies in it are basically freebies, so we just get a ton of extra poops. Okay, so let's try and boiled baby this guy. Yeah, I've I've noticed one really good tactic is to stick boiled baby directly on top of him, and then uh, and then try and get it to fire. It does a ton of damage, an absolute ton. Up to 29. Okay, we now have uh, four keys. We can actually go into our shop if we find it. I'm trying to bomb out of this room. There's no point in being in here. Later. <laughs> I'm not going to take the extra time to do a room where enemies jump up and disappear because that sounds like hell. I still got hit by that. Cool. God damn it. Another nickel. This is fantastic. We got the best sort of stuff we could have get here. Just just getting a uh, petrified poop is insanely good. Hop in here real quick. Basically, I'm just looking for a, a guy that gives us the uh, the charges so we can just pop off with our uh, space bar. Pop off with a poop. A sentence I never thought I'd hear. Get that. There's a double heart there. This is really good for us just coming back later on if we need to heal up like we did with that previous boss fight. Shop, what do you have? Uh, I guess we'll take that and this. Doesn't really matter. Judgment? Nah, we're just going to bomb you. Don't need the key either. I can't be asked. Go back and pick it up. Got it. Again, really really worried with my speed there that we weren't going to be able to do that. Okay, so let's take out these things first because they're going to be really annoying. We got ourselves a heart in Lou. Just wait in there. Oh, we got him. He got cornered. We got him into the pain zone. Nice. Yes, deal with the devil as well. Little Chad is great for us. Um, money equals power or satanic Bible. I mean, I don't think damage... At, well, let, let's go and find out. Let's go and find out. Um, One second. Let's go and find out uh, exactly how Dirty Mind works. So, Platinum God. Because I don't th I don't know if they scale with damage or not. Uh, they might. Dirty Mind. Is it not called Dirty Mind anymore? Oh, no, it is. It is. I see it. I see it. Dirty Mind. Each time you destroy a poop, this item will spawn 0 to 3 den um, friendly uh, dips. Uh, type number enemies, different poops from different types, golden poops, uh, petrify enemies. Okay, so it, it's not affected by your, cha uh, your damage at all. So taking either one of them means nothing to us. That's good to know. Good to know. Right. 
These guys? Aha! So that's definitely one of the ways that we get to enemies we can't normally get to. But Ooh, that champion looks really cool. Also, we managed to make a path there that I wasn't expecting. Nice half soul heart there as well to protect our deal with the devil. Not that we're going to get one anyways, but still. It's nice to have. Ooh, these guys are uh, particularly annoying. Oh my god. It's still though, the, the, the damage on this is so good. Like, imagine being able to do this whilst also being able to shoot. That would be really strong. That would be really, really strong. Right, come on, dude. Just, uh, just give up. Give up and die. Oh my god, the poops. They just don't care about enemies at all. I thought they were meant to seek out and hurt enemies. They literally just don't care. <laughs> They're so passive. They're just like, oh, an enemy has spawned. How, how nice. How intriguing. Tear it. Really not that good, but <laughs> hey ho. Right. At this point, I'm kind of just like, should we just walk into everything and see what happens? I'm basically clearing out all the rocks at this point to give my guys more room to do stuff. But yeah, when we've got so much HP to play around with on the floor, why don't we just run into enemies to do damage? Seems like a perfectly valid way of doing things, to be honest. Like, there's another heart there. Yeah, because if we're getting hearts when we run over enemies, because we'll be turning into poops and then getting a heart for it. So, like, let's just do that. And then just... Yeah. Boom. Wait, that doesn't that didn't deal any damage to me for some reason. Okay, and of course... Wait. I'm getting confused. What's healing me? Does destroying poops heal me? <laughs> what? Have I been playing this challenge all wrong? I think I've been playing this whole challenge wrong. I'm pretty sure I can walk into enemies without taking any damage. I get healed immediately upon walking into an enemy. Look at this. I'm back, back to full health. This is mental. <laughs> this is so busted. I did not know that this healed now. Okay, I have been I have been pussyfooting around this challenge. Thinking that I had to use my dirty mind poops to do all of my damage. Turns out they are very much just here for the ride. Now we've got an orbital too. This is fantastic. Right, what what floor are we on? We're on the last floor of this challenge, I think. Thank depths too, okay. Yeah, this is mental. I mean, if you want to deal with the devil, you don't want to do this, but otherwise, this is a perfectly valid way of completing this challenge. You just get healed for every single thing that you do. <laughs> it's great. Give me all of those. Come here, you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is mental. What? Which item is it that's doing that? Is it... Is it Skatul or like, does Dirty Mind or E. coli do that? Apparently, maybe so. Either way, it seems pretty busted. Like, we just cannot take contact damage at all. I love this. This is so unbelievably broken. <laughs> I'm sure everyone else in this challenge was like, ah, yes, makes sense, easy. That's super fa super easy to figure out. We all figured that out straight away. And I'm here like, i got to kill all of them with a dirty mind. Okay, so the they said about the um, increased chance of tinted rocks. Definitely is true. We've seen like three this floor. I really hope they're not too common. I really like them being uncommon. So I, yeah, I really, I really hope they're not just like fucking everywhere now. I mean, I suppose it'll be a little bit nice to see a few more of them. I just, I just hope it, it, it's, it's not back to how it was in AB+, because they were way too common in AB+. Broken Stopwatch is actually pretty good if we get hit on the boss fight. It is, um, oh no, that's not, that's, I'm thinking a normal Stopwatch. Broken Stopwatch is not like that. Why do I feel so fast on this room? Oh, the room's, I'm like, the room's sped up. That's literally, so how do we do rooms like this? Like, how, how do we do rooms like this? I'm just going to leave. Ah, we use bombs. 
I'm so stupid. Everybody remember. Turtle stupid. Turtle dumb. Turtle idiot. I keep forgetting that, like, I can so easily just use my bombs. It's just exactly how it's meant to be done. And I can't, for some reason, grasp that small, tiny concept. You cannot get stuck on this challenge because you have bombs that hit the entire room. That's kind of the point. Right. So, we, basically, for this, we want to we wanna let the foot do most of the work for us here. We'll walk into enemies to get healing. There you go. We got some health on the ground as well. Walk into enemies to get the healing. Walk into the foot to deal a bit of damage. Pick up the heart. Did I not pick up that heart? Okay, there you go. Another tinted rock. Okay, yeah, they are way more common. That's a lot of tinted rocks. We got them. That's the challenge. Nice one. That was a fun challenge. Very short video. Very short one, but we all look dirty mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.